guys, it's Paige from Out of Context, the podcast. I'm really excited to talk to you guys today. I bought a couple of products from Lush and I want to show them to you guys. Um, they're really well known for the fact that they don't test on animals, so cruelty free. And also they use a lot of natural and organic materials in their products. I like that a lot just because I don't like putting a lot of chemicals on my face. Um, so that's a really big thing for me. I only started shopping at Lush a couple of months ago. The first thing I ever tried, a friend let me try some of the tea tree water and I fell in love. It goes on, it went on so well and it dried and it just felt like heaven. So after that I was basically hooked. Um, I have only bought face stuff and bath bombs. So today I bought a couple of shower items so I'm really excited to talk to you about them. Uh, the first thing that I bought that I'm going to talk to you guys about is a sea spray. Um, funny about this, I actually never had any in intention of buying a sea salt spray. Um, it's for your hair. Um, I always figured sea salt sprays would be really gross because whenever you think of getting, going to the beach and getting in the water and getting out, yeah, your hair looks really good, but it smells kind of weird and it doesn't feel very good. So it's kind of probably naive of me to think that this would feel that way. Um, my friend bought some and I tried some last week, just on a whim, and it went on really well. It did not go on heavy. Um, and the first thing that I noticed about it was the smell. It smells amazing. Um, it says it's grapefruit and neroli blend into a beautiful perfume for your locks. I would say that that is a correct statement. It smells so good. And the smell lasted the entire day. Um, so I really liked that about it. Um, you can use this um, with either damp or dry hair. You can flip your hair over, spritz it in there, and then you want to scrunch your hair to give it the waves. Um, and it lasts, again, the waves also lasted all day. I was really surprised. Um, the sea salt in it gives your hair some volume. So I'm really excited to use this. My friend also said that it works really good on day two hair. Um, to keep my hair healthy, I try to wash it every other day so my hair can get the natural oils from my scalp. Um, but not everyone, I know I don't, has very good day two hair. So she said using this can kind of give it some volume and make it come back to life. Um, I paid $12.95 for this product, which I think is comparable to other sea salt sprays. I work at a drugstore and that seems about a normal price. So I'm really excited to try that. Um, the next product I bought, I actually... It was on a whim and I did not ever have any intention of doing this really either. Um, I bought a shampoo bar. I have never heard of such a thing. Only Lush. Um, maybe not. I don't know. I just have never heard of such a thing. Um, this one is called Scenic. It smells like the ocean. Today's really an ocean theme with all the stuff that I got. Um, it smells like the ocean. Um, I, I know that's hard to really explain to you guys. Uh, it has two different types of seaweed in it. Seaweed is really good to keep your hair feeling soft. has a little bit of sea salt in it for some volume, lemon extract for shine, and it also, the smell is from mimosa and jasmine. Um, I just know that it smells so good. I'm really sorry I keep saying that. Oh my gosh. Um, basically, or apparently how the bars work, I've never used one of these before, so this will be a learning experience for me. Apparently how the bars work, your hair is wet, you can get the bar wet, and you rub it back and forth on your scalp maybe three or four times, and it's supposed to lather. Um, I'm not sure. We will find out. Um, I'm excited to find out, and maybe I can tell you guys how it went, uh, but very excited about this. I paid $11.95 for this, I believe. Um, and it's supposed to last 80 to 100 washes. So obviously if you have longer hair, um, you could probably cut a, cu a couple washes out there. Like, it's not going to be 80 to 100. Um, but I, well, I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I also bought this tin to put it in. I don't want it to degrade underwater while it's just sitting there in my shower. So this was $3.95. I thought, why not? It fits perfectly in there. Put the lid on. Good to go. So the next two things I'm going to talk about I actually didn't purchase. There was a really sweet girl who worked there who gave us some free samples. Um, the first one I'm really excited about, it's called Rub 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 Shower Scrub. Um, I smelled this actually before she even recommend, or said she was giving us a sample of it, so I was really excited. Um, it is a scrub. Hopefully it'll focus. I don't know. Um, it's The smell is exactly like the uh, scenic 
shampoo bar. So that's why I'm really excited about it because obviously I love the smell. Um, it's got mimosa blossom and also jasmine and it does have some lemon extract in it as well. She said that the salt grains are not super harsh. It says she said it's been like worn down or something so it's not super harsh on your skin. Um, I have really sensitive skin so this will be a pretty big test. I hope that it feels good and doesn't irritate my skin at all because I really want to buy this. Um, I believe it only comes in the 11.8 ounce so and I believe that's twenty one seventy five, dollars um, which that's quite a bit of product. I think that would last a very long time so if I like it I probably would spend that much on it. Um, very excited to try this. The next thing that she gave us which I wasn't I mean whatever it's cool it's called Yummy Mummy Shower Gel. Um, it's a shower gel. It's a liquid. Um, I have tried to think of a million and one ways to describe how this smells and I cannot think of one to tell you guys. I don't know if you can see it. It's purple. It's very liquidy. It smells sweet. Um, I don't know. I really can't think of how to describe this. It has a couple different types of oil in it. I think there's Brazilian orange oil and then there's Tonka. Uh, and it's supposed to leave you smelling like strawberries. I personally cannot smell that in this. Doesn't mean it once you're out of the shower you won't smell like strawberries I don't know probably unless this is like the most amazing thing on the planet will not buy this I believe it's a limited edition for Mother's Day um so if it is amazing and it's fantastic you better get out and get it now um but anyways so those are the products I got today I'm really excited to try all of them um blush also it's not just for women there's a lot of products for men too uh, they actually have an entire section for men that has different types of deodorant, shower gels, uh, even mustache wax. So uh, it's not just strictly for women. Um, also, they have different kinds of makeup. They have mascaras and lip tint. I don't know if I've already said that, so sorry if I'm talking your ear off. Anyway, um, that's all I have to talk about today. Please like the video if you did like it and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're five girls who do a bi-weekly podcast and we talk about just whatever. So, um, and also feedback is good. We're still learning and trying to get on our feet, but it's been a lot of fun. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.